Well, we're at uh, McCacken 2022 uh, in Chicago, the greatest muscle car show on earth as far as we're concerned, and uh, showing off this one of one plum crazy Mopar paint, but factory painted by Oldsmobile. In 1970, they uh, allowed dealers to, for $50, to do any pretty much special order paint, almost any color they wanted. And uh, this car was out of the Virginia Beach area. Uh, it's uh, Phillips Oldsmobile. The owner's name was Tench Phillips. And uh, Tench Phillips liked to order special order colors because uh, they were, he, you know, there were attractions for the showroom for one thing, uh, which he liked having something different in his showroom. The other thing was uh, there was an allotment of 442s for every dealer. And in 1970, uh, if you ordered a special order car color, it did not count against your allotment for 442s. So they used that as a way to get more cars in and get around the allotment. And uh, apparently about a year and a half later, General Motors caught on to this and they, they put a stop to it, but he did it as long as he could. The previous owner of this car did all the research on the vehicle. In, undoubtedly, the biggest thing is the paint. I mean, it's a, it's a plum crazy Mopar paint. For these special order cars, they would order the paint and then they would take it to the experimental uh, Oldsmobile Experimental Center and they would spray them there. On the cowl tag, this particular car is a Dash A. Uh, special paint and special colors were dashes. So uh, if you see some of the, uh, like a Sebring yellow, 442, a lot of times it's dash dash. And then, uh, but this car is dash A because special order paint for the dash, A is for the white top. The W30 package is a high performance package. I kind of equate it to like a Boss 429 for Ford, you know, but it, it has all the go fast components, it's got special cam, uh, aluminum intake, myriad of high performance parts, and then of course the suspension's beefed up as well. I felt like the car deserved to be restored and by somebody that really had the passion for it. And I mean, it speaks for itself. You just got to look at the car. I mean, everybody comes by that is just floored. And it, it's kind of like a crossover collectible, you know? You have the W30 uh, convertibles are one of the most rare Oldsmobiles you can get, one of the most expensive Oldsmobiles you can get. You know, it's just, uh, it's a very special car to us, so, yeah.